Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. It's almost a given that you'll find some strange objects and creatures on a seashore. Maybe seashells, seaweed, and even the occasional piece of driftwood. But what you would not expect to see are unexploded bombs, sacks of milk, or brand new motorbikes littering the sands. Some pretty weird things wash up on beaches around the world, and in this video, we're going to show you the top 10 strangest things to wash up on shore. Make sure to keep watching. Number 10. Driftwood covered in gooseneck barnacles, Auckland, New Zealand. A beachgoer named Melissa was the first person who discovered the barnacled driftwood on a Saturday and hurriedly posted pictures of it on Facebook. The post generated a lot of online traffic, with people both confused and intrigued by the alien-looking object. They all suddenly wanted to know about the strange-looking alien creature that washed up on their shores. After creating a lot of noise on the internet and attracting the attention of authorities, the New Zealand Marine Sciences Society finally took a look at the genesis of all the gossip. On thorough inspection, the New Zealand Marine Sciences Society revealed that the strange alien-like object was a piece of driftwood that was almost entirely covered in what are known as gooseneck barnacles. Gooseneck barnacles are filter-feeding crustaceans that live attached to hard surfaces of rock or driftwood, and while many would refer to them as smelly, unseemly wrigglers, others would say otherwise. You might be delighted to know that these gooseneck barnacles are considered to be a luxurious delicacy, and they are a widely consumed and expensive delicacy known as percebes in Portugal and Spain. Number 9. Sacks of Milk Powder, Toronga, New Zealand Whatever it is you expect to see on the beach, I can bet that milk or multiple sacks of it are not one of those things. In 2012, shipping containers, sacks of milk powder, and other debris washed onto popular New Zealand beaches after a cargo ship struck on an offshore reef and, after three months, started breaking apart due to being battered mercilessly by heavy seas, violent waves. The 47,230-ton Liberian-flagged cargo ship named Reina was grounded for three months on Astrolabe Reef before it finally broke in two about 14 miles off Taranga on the east coast of New Zealand after being pounded by waves up to 20 feet tall. An oil sheen was cast about 1.8 miles from the stricken vessel, and small amounts of oil started washing up on nearby islands and beaches. Timber, plastic, and most popular, dozens of sacks of milk powder also littered the beach after an estimated 200 to 300 containers stacked in the 775-foot-long ship were washed into the sea when it broke apart. The police had to close down the Waihi Beach to the public after reports of people removing items that had washed up. Well, who knows if some of them ended up somehow using the milk for, I don't know, cereal? Number 8. An Unexploded Bomb, North Carolina, USA It's rather insane and unbelievable to think that so many decades after the Second World War, the effects are still being felt all over the world in some way, somehow. In October 2020, the historic Cape Hatteras light station grounds were closed after a bomb appeared in the surf at Buxton on their outer banks. A half-mile safety perimeter was put up to keep tourists out and keep them safe, including the lighthouse grounds, nearby parking lots, and surrounding beach, officials said in a release. After carefully inspecting the unexpected bomb, authorities eventually confirmed that the object was a live military ordnance. After waiting for three long hours, the scary device was successfully detonated and the explosion was so powerful that it set sand 60 feet into the air. Although uncertain, the exact origin of the bomb was ascertainable. Military training exercises were common in waters off the Outer Banks during the Second World War. Even decades after those dark times, objects resembling torpedoes and mines have a history of washing ashore. Detonating these bombs deliberately and safely is important so that they don't go off by themselves, causing even more danger. Number 7. Hairballs, Australia and Europe in 2014, beachgoers were shocked when green balls washed up on the shore of DY Beach in Sydney, Australia. Soon enough, photos of the strange hairy balls went viral on the internet, and soon people started to claim that the objects were extraterrestrial. After lots of contemplation, inspection, and study, the authorities debunked any alien furry egg rumors. The balls, which were described as squishy and soft by an astonished beachgoer, turned out to be a very rare type of living algae. However, unlike the gross green goop that clings to rock, and forms on the top of water, this type of algae is free-living, meaning it forms into a ball shape. Known as Agagropili, these strange hairy spheres are the remains of Poseidonia australis, a seagrass, also known as Neptune grass, that grows in large meadows around Australia's southern coast. Number 6. Sea Pickles Unicorns of the Sea, or Pickles of the Sea, whatever you decide to call these is entirely up to you. 
In 2017, people were astonished and confused when these odd-looking objects washed up on the Pacific coast of the US and Canada. Gelatinous, translucent, bumpy-skinned, oblong sea creatures called pyrosomes suddenly took up residence in waters along the Pacific coastline of the US, assembling in the millions and washing up on beaches. And no one knew why. On inspection, the identified so-called sea pickles, called pyrosomes, were said to be generally found in more tropical waters. What caused them to flee their habitat with the unusual population explosion was a mystery to regular folk and the authorities. Number 5. Bleached Whale Bones, the Arctic In recent times, tourism is growing quickly in the Norwegian archipelago and visitors are all too eager to get a glimpse of powerful Arctic animals like whales, many of which wash up on shore when they die at sea. The remote beaches of the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard have a stark and strange beauty, especially if you stumble across the sinister-looking old bleached bones of a whale. Dead whales and walruses occasionally drift ashore in this arctic wilderness and are seized upon by polar bears and other wildlife. Encountering whales in this region of the world is not uncommon. In fact, whales came close to being eradicated completely from the waters around Svalbard, after Europeans harvested them for three centuries for blubber and baleen. One species, the bowhead, also known as the Greenland right whale, was reduced from perhaps tens of thousands to fewer than a hundred individuals in the archipelago midway between continental Europe and the North Pole. Number 4. Tar Balls, Alabama and Louisiana, USA On a mid-February weekend in 2013, oil in the form of hundreds of sticky tar balls had washed up all over the beach following a storm the night before. Tar balls from the worst offshore oil spill in US history continued to soil the Gulf Coast two years after it happened, although at irregular intervals. These tar balls simply showed up unexpectedly in large numbers, leaving everyone confused and unsure of how to clean them up. Tar balls are soft clumps of weathered oil mingled with sand, shells, and other beach material. They can range from the size of a pinhead to larger chunks about the size of a soccer ball. The deadly explosion that led to this, known as the BP Deepwater Horizon explosion, which occurred on April 20, 2010, regarded as the biggest oil spill in US history, killing 11 rig workers and unleashing nearly 5 million barrels of oil oil into the Gulf of Mexico from BP's Macondo Well. Even years after, the oil company's cleanup personnel are still gathering them up along Gulf beaches, hence the yearly balls washing up on the shores. Number 3. Valuable Cargo, England, UK The usually deserted Branscombe Beach, a stretch of shingle along the Jurassic Coast in Devon, was a scene of unusual activity on a cold day in January 2007. The beach was heaving on that day with hundreds of, depending on your point of view, looters, salvagers, or beachcombers. The shore was strewn with valuable cargo that was washed ashore in shipping containers from the stricken 62,000-ton cargo ship that was destroyed in a raging storm. Among the goodies that had fallen off the back of the MSC Napoli ship were motorbikes, steering wheels, other car parts, carpets, beauty creams, shoes, golf clubs, oil paintings, and camcorders. The salvagers, or looters, carried, dragged, and hauled away what they could from the beach, and when they couldn't, they made sledges from wooden pallets. In fact, one gang brought their own tractor. They sure meant business. Scavengers did not waste any time marketing their loot, with items quickly appearing on eBay. Now it's time for today's best pick. This picture was sent in by a curious subscriber. Your photo could be featured too. All you have to do is send a photo that you find interesting to us, and who knows, you could be next. Number two, strange sea monster. In July 2020, a mysterious 15-foot creature was found washed up on a British beach, leaving locals stunned. A man reportedly found the smelly carcass on Ainsdale Beach late in July and alerted others and the authorities. This creature, already decomposing, had four flippers, making it look even weirder. It had fur and bones sticking out of everywhere. As one would expect, it was very stinky. Photos of the bizarre-looking creature lying in the sand were posted on the internet and they subsequently went viral. The identity of the creature remained unconfirmed as people continued to guess what it was. Some strange type of shark, a walrus, and even an extinct mammoth. Some officials claimed that it looked like some species of whale. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Megalodon Tooth, Croatia in 2015, a toothy find surfaced in central Croatia, around 60 kilometers from the capital Zagreb. The hand-sized fossil was discovered in the Kupa River by a local who was searching for shells. 
the Natural History Museum acknowledged that the tooth likely belonged to the giant shark, C. Megalodon, measuring up to 18 centimeters, 7 inches long. That must have been one super huge big boy. We've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get more awesome content.